Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Bonnie number 6 with 1,004 rating versus Kara 99 with 1,383 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's go ahead and hop right in, and we're going to see Kara 99 win the Rock Paper Scissors shoot, and they will go first, 41 versus 40. Opening hands, we got Prosperity, Droplet, Shifter, Imperm, Fenrir, okay, these two conflict. Uh, they have Street, Happy, Nib, Fenrir, and Sleepy. Okay, so they are playing Pearly. They can definitely play through Shifter. Uh, they're going to drop Shifter in the standby. Then Main Phase, Special Fenrir. Fenrir effect goes Surge. Grab out another copy of Fenrir. And then Field Spell, activate Happy. So Happy to protect Field Spell. Discard Fenrir. Bring out Pearly. Pearly effect on Summon. Go ahead, look at the top three, then they grab the pretty memory there. Okay, okay, so just skipping over any per lily and the like my friend action, uh, which is fine here. Now we can activate pretty. And then any response, yeah, they're going to chain imperm on the Fenrir, so that way they can't try to attach. Um, but now they just summon out per lily into guaranteed my friend and the guaranteed pearly equ uh, quick play spell i guess this makes them discard their last card in hand so that way they have like no non-engine uh i guess for now because they're gonna draw some on your turn activate sleepy chain to war to attach then go set trap from the deck end phase attach sleepy Pass, draw Scareclaw. Yeah, I was going to say, they draw six here during the standby. So, going on to the next game, we're going to see Cash go first, Bonnie, and we got Unicorn, Shifter, Draw, Deosis, and Fenrir. They have Pearly, Street, Pretty, Imperm, Prosperity. Okay, so now, sadly, the draw will conflict with the Shifter. Um,. Yeah, Shifter's also not as good going first against this deck. Uh, it's a lot better when they go first. Drop Shifter, Special Unicorn, Unicorn Effect, go grab Birth, Activate Birth, Normal Summon Out Fenrir, Fenrir Effect, go grab Unicorn. And then, I was going to say, I, I watched this player some before, and I haven't seen him go for like a Rank 4 package or Arsenal Falcon, uh, so I don't think they're playing that stuff. Uh, but, yeah, they just end on this. Fenrir, Unicorn, Undershifter, making it hard to get happy, uh, like, happiness. And then, Normal Summon, Pearly, Pearly Effect, look at the top three. Miss is off of that, nice, that's what the cash player needs here. And then, activate the Pot of Prosperity, Banish six, look at the top six. And then, this needs to, oh, I was gonna say, this needs to, like, not hit a sleepy or like a my friend and it didn't so i guess that's good for them pearly effect upgrade in the happiness and then battle phase attack half damage effect to go search go grab my friend pearly main phase two downward zeus and then pass turn draw summon limits so not trying to play any more that turn um okay could have went like Zeus wipe, my friend. Ah, I guess it's probably not. Yeah, it's never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, so now they go birth effect. Okay, summon out unicorn. And then on that summon, they said, okay, unicorn, go grab birth. Yeah, making them commit to more. And now they're going to go open the sky crisis. Sky crisis, bounce back Zeus. And then attack directly for 29. Set summon limit pass. And, you know, if that's all the opponent does, is Sky Crisis pass? Like, sure. That's fine. Pass, draw Sleepy, activate my friend Pearly, pay 500, go reveal, reveal Sleepy, delicious, and Sleepy. And then get Sleepy to hand, drop to roll, activate uh, Street, activate Sleepy, discard Imperm, summon out Per Lily, and now Per Lily effect. And they can't use Birth effect this turn because... You know, they don't have a cash, so they're going to upgrade in the Baby New War, and then activate Sleepy, they said Think, Chain Summon Limit, Chain Pretty, yeah, and then Chain New War Effect to attach, 
So attach, set trap from deck, gain a thousand. Now they can do war, send my friend Pearly, attach the Sky Crisis, end phase, attach Sleepy, then pass to draw Eclipse. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was about to say, I'm pretty sure they just lose to a big new war getting summoned, but they just drew Eclipse. Uh, well, you have to wait till the trap card, because if you try flipping it before, then they flip Yeep. So, draw one, draw two, draw Per Lily, Prosperity, activate trap card, chain Book of Eclipse, they chain Admit Defeat. Yeah, that's just game, because we have Birth Summon back. We can honestly just control the game. We could summon Fenrir. Fenrir, attack, banish street, beat over. And then we have summon limit up. Birth's also really good. Uh, okay, okay. I, I mean, it's not like instantly game over, right? But they probably do end up losing that one, so they just go ahead and admit defeat there. And then on the game three, we will go ahead and see Cash be forced to go first. They have Scareclaw, Cash, Tira, Theosis, Moonlit, Imperm, Lightning Storm, which I think is probably the right thing to do, um, because this deck just, like, doesn't do enough turn one. Like, it actually doesn't do anything turn one. So, yes, I would also force Cash to go first. Uh, worst case scenario, you get hit with Babuska, try to draw non-engine to stop it. They got my friend Pearly, Ash, Sleepy, Econ, Lightning Storm. Okay, yep, like Ash will probably stop Babuska from coming out. Actually, it will. You just hit Arsenal Falcon. And then Econ would switch it to attack. So that's like two different outs. Um, but they just brick, so pass. They draw Sleepy. Then activate my friend Pearly. Pay 500. Go ahead and reveal. Reveal Pearly. 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 Get Pearly to hand. And then normal summon Pearly. Effect. Look at the top three, that hits pretty and happy, grab happy to hand, put back Fenrir pretty to the bottom. And then pearly upgrade, go up into baby new war, and then activate happy, no response, chain baby new war to attach, go set trap, discard lightning storm, bring out pearl lily, pearl lily effect, chain moonlit, activate sleepy, chain baby new war to attach, and then attack for 1100. Okay, uh, set econ, pass turn, they draw Diddy Crow, standby phase, effect to draw two. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, if we were gonna imprint, we would have done it in draw phase, not in response to the effect, because then they can chain the trap. So they draw Pearly Prosperity, activate trap, upgrade in the big new war, and then they activated Eclipse, you know, they had Ashley, uh, then effect to draw, draw Pearl Lily and Happy, so go main phase. Pass, they draw per Lily, normal summon per Lily, effect, they said okay. So go grab out field spell, and then activate my friend Pearly, pay 500 to go reveal, reveal pretty, pretty delicious, and then they get pretty to hand, activate field spell, activate happy memory, and then protect the set, discard Pearl Lily, bring out Pearly, Pearly effect. That's so if they get hit with like Lightning Storm, they still have Econ set. And then top three misses off that Pearly. Okay, unfortunate. Pearl Lily effect, target Happy Memory, Chain Crow, and then activate Pot of Prosperity. Yeah, they were trying to maybe set up game and then they realized, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and Prosperity now to grab something. Okay, so put those to the bottom. Pearly effect, upgrading the beauty. And then switch Noor to attack, link off in the SP. Battle phase, 800, 800, 550. Yeah, very little damage there. And then main phase 2, Zeus over Noor, since it'd be shuffled back due to trap card. And then end phase, field spell to attach delicious to beauty, so that way it can't just easily get beat over or easily forced. They draw a cash to your heart. And then Imperm on Zeus, Lightning Storm on Monsters. And then they just let that go. Then they're going to go Field Spell, my friend. So add back from the graveyard, delicious, pretty. And then summon Per Lily. And then no Per Lily effect. Doesn't want to get hit with, you know, talents or anything. Normal summon out, cash to your heart. Econ, tribute to take, so that way Birth, Theosis aren't live. 
which is fair because usually when Kashtura bricks, it feels like they're bricking with like births in hand, theosis in hand, or something like that. So this can whoop, stop that from happening. Uh, so now put them on better be able to keep playing from here. It's not like they're going to go normal summon Rise Heart, get hit with Econ, and then special Unicorn, right? Activates Gear Claw, Kashtira, Banish, special, yeah, it's game. So. Go up in the Sky Crisis, Effect, Bounce Back, Zeus, Battle Phase, Beat Over, Rise Heart. And then, yeah, past turn, they're going to go Trap Effect, Banish to put back. Yup, not running out of Pearlies, pass, they draw Fenrir. Okay, that, that card actually just single-handedly wins the game. But Fenrir, grab Fenrir, normal Pearly, Effect through the top three. Misses, and then Pearly Effect to upgrade, and that's game. So upgrade into Plump. I guess, you know, make sure we don't accidentally attach too many cards. That way we can't activate our effect. Uh, activate Sleepy, chain Plump to attach, and then we can banish. Uh, which we really didn't have to do since we could have Fenrir banished it. But bring out Pearl Lily. I guess just flex. Like, hey, I know this effect. You know, I got a game. I'm going to show you I know all my effects. Pearl Lily upgrade. And then battle phase, game that said, yeah, four turns without Fenrir, Unicorn, Prosperity, Field, or too much. Yeah. And then they left. Yep. It do be like that, where you just don't draw the cards that you need. You know what I mean? You got three Fenrir, two Unicorn, three Prosperity, four Field Spell. That's 12. 12 and 40. You are supposed to draw one most of the time. But they didn't. And then, you know, they also had, like, multiple extra turns, and, like, every extra turn, like, really helps the math on that. But the match was 24 minutes long, and Pearly does end up winning. With all that being said, the DB Grinder, signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.